I know you've been hearing a lot of talks around town. You've been hearing the buzz. You've been hearing, oh, is BT College Hill in town? Well, the rumors are true. BT's College Hill is in town. That's right. It is true. Four of the finest students from the VI right here out of Rock City and the Big Island St. Croix will be at the house with four students all the way from Cali, man. This season's gonna be major. It's 96 degrees in the shade and it's definitely hot right here in the island. Keep it locked. When me and Aidisha went through the rooms and stuff, I tell Aidisha, girl, you is my roommate. I don't care who else sleep with us, but you and me sharing a room. Because ain't no hell in way I was gonna sleep with Crystal in my room. I could tell that I would be attracted to him. He's kind of like the type that I go for. So you're a tourist? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Temptation is playing like a big role in this whole situation right now. Me and my girl been together in like three and a half years, so I can't, I can't get down like that. There's a lot of division between the island kids and the LA kids. Hey, you don't understand us. We have accents too, huh? Like but ours is a clear accent. Well, yeah, we think so. We have to start this off the right way. We can't start with any tension, any kind of bad feelings or anything per se from the beginning. So I just went and I reached out and like start communicating with them. Everybody come over here. Hey, everybody come over here. Truth and Dare is definitely one of those experiences that everybody has to do. You want to scoot up the group a little bit, man? There has to be some rules to this game. Make them take a shot or something. If you don't want to do the truth or dare, you have to take a shot. So y'all down with that? Make if you don't take the shot, then you have to get in the pool. Bucket naked. Let's get my lovely lady friend right here. A lap dance. I dare you. <laughs> to jump in a pool naked. <laughs> and then things got really, really, really interesting. Then JT's girl calls. She said, what am I doing? While he's on the phone with his girlfriend, <laughs> like, Anisha's over here, like, flashing him, trying to be sexy to, like, get him in trouble with his girlfriend while he's on the phone with her. Y'all gonna get me killed. She doesn't do her dance. She doesn't take the shot. So she decides to get in the pool but naked. You crazy? Yo, yo, yo. I kind of got the impression that people were thinking that I was prudish, which I'm not. I worked at Hooters, for God's sake. Got eyes who look at me. I mean, stop and neither. Why do you think it's cool? You about to see some booty. She being slick. She gonna flip in the pool. She, she gonna... But she ain't got no booty, y'all. Hurt my feelings. Whispering, you know, stuff in my ear like, could I kiss you? Could I put my tongue on your neck and like stuff like that? And I was kind of like hesitant. I, I didn't want to tell her no, because I didn't want to be rude. Hands on booty, booty in the air kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh my God. This is out here wilding, and I, I don't know, it's crazy, man. I love it. <laughs> I didn't know it was like this out here. I only want to go home. <laughs> and I know if I go home, my girl gonna kill me. I'm scared myself, because I'm scared. Like, I'm going to class tomorrow, and y'all's culture is different from our culture is. And I don't want to be offensive towards anything like that. You know, uh -huh. it's hard enough for me at school in California. I mean, it's gonna be pretty obvious, like, I'm not from here. I have, like, a total different, like, valley girl, white girl accent, you know what I mean? And they already kind of talk funny in the first place, so I'm kind of worried about how they're gonna, like, you know, accept me at the school. She got me, I f***ing the two of them up, and I all gonna f***ing read me and the f***ing Avis and Daily News. Then she falls asleep on the couch, butt naked. He, like, passed out in the bathroom floor. Yeah, And, like, Cheeky and, like, JT had to go pull his little tail upstairs, because he was passed out. The VI kids, they know how to party. It's about to be a crazy semester. Oh, damn. <laughs> Temptation is everywhere. JT and Adisha are hooking up. Fallon and Andres are hooking up. There's about to be some freaking things going on in this house, y'all. Don't be telling your boyfriend about me. Me and your boyfriend's name are not collide unless you said I broke up with my boyfriend for that Will he have me on a high pedestal? And, like, I have to tell him to, like, 
low on me. I know that he probably like me, but he ain't my type. You funny. I dress open my eyes of what happened with me and Adisha, and I know I'm in trouble. This is his best way to attack me, so like I just got my Bible put on my gospel music, listening to it. Religion for me is like a very strong thing. It helps me kind of stay on track. Often I find myself asking, like, what would Jesus do? I'm upset because JT used a six pound packet of ground beef for three burgers, okay? This is not a fat burger. I don't know who he thinks he is, but that had me heated. What the is are you gonna do for this whole situation? You know Nothing but let you know that I'm pissed. I'm saying all she do is complain. I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm tired. Man, please, you about everything. A little no, you about everything. You, you be the only all person the time, JT, all the time. I know Crystal, she can argue for years. So I just wanted to end the whole argument that we had over the ground beef. Hey, fam. I'm cool on you right now. Talking, talking, talking. I could have stopped, but I didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could have, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I could have been a bigger person, but I really didn't feel like being at that time. Okay. Because he needed to hear what, what I told him. I don't wear right. sheets. I don't wear wraps. Okay. I don't wear that other mystery People wear like shack shoes. The girls wear like cheap kind of clothes where they just kind of like fall off. They ain't got no cute gap sweaters. Probably don't know what gap is. Everything that we take them to do, they like, oh, it's not like LA or it's not like this or that. But I mean, you just someplace else. You need to explore and experience and appreciate something else than your norm. I should have stayed my black ass at home and just kept on sleeping. I know who my friends are and I know who are fake people. And right now, you know, I'm done dealing with the fake people, like it's over. This is not right, man. Not everybody want to hear you. Crystal is acting really obnoxious. Um, she must be salty just because of what happened yesterday. All that time, she left that right. What is there more to say? Like, I feel like I, I have, I the devil is not worse than this. The way Crystal is talking about these island kids, it's making everybody back at home in Cali look real bad. I miss the congestion traffic, and I miss the shopping. I miss the money. I miss good-looking people. Yes, I said it, good-looking people. I don't know what to say about Chris, a little <laughs> She wouldn't even let me kiss her on her cheek. I don't know where your mouth been, but I'm going to tell you where it's about to go, though. Hold on quick, hold on, the phone be playing. Hello? Um, may I speak to Crystal, please? Crystal? Yes. Um, hold on. Hello? Mm. Yeah. The phone is for one of my roommates, but I ain't giving her the phone because the other night she been on the phone for like three to four hours a day. Everybody in the house was getting called, and nobody didn't get their call because she would not click over. So let me just read you the second verse. The second verse is hot, 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 hot. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you into pieces, bury you under trees, and make sure your body will never be seen again. Disha, Vanessa, I'm Crystal. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the order? <laughs> All right, the same order that are going down, just like that. He said that he would kill me, and that was uncalled for because I hadn't even dealt him any blows. Okay, I like uh -huh. boys anyway. I like stateside. Oh, God. I don't like anorexic. Shut your white skin. Matter where you from? I just me and you better not with me. started arguing just about like everything that have been happening for the past few days. So you shut the f up and you can't understand me because I can't understand you. If you can't understand me as your f me, don't tell me you suck a language. We saw you. You know, you for the fight. That's all I should say. If you're not gonna talk about you for the fight. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Crystal, do not stop me up with the eyes again.
Vanessa from Crystal, and I took Vanessa outside. And Vanessa was like pouring down blood from her face. Calm down, Vanessa. Just let me bleed. Come here, calm oh down, calm down. Oh my Look. God. And they took her to the hospital. Talk to me, please, please tell me what happened. Okay, that's okay. Vanessa's at the hospital. She is getting her head wound checked out. Don't know if she's gonna need stitches or not. She's got a little horseshoe gash yeah, over her eye from the, uh, from the shoe, I guess is what it is. I did feel like I had good cars. She's just a little rat. Let's just say what she wanna say, you know? But you just get tired of hearing people. Sometimes you just gotta shut them up. And I chose to shut them up. They told us that someone was going home and it was gonna be a hard decision and I sat here all night preparing myself for the leave. Like I knew that it was gonna be me going home and not her based on how much damage was done to her and not to me. Hi, we're the cast of College Show season four. After living through that experience, we learned a valuable lesson. Even though culturally we have different backgrounds, we're all the same in the end. Try not to let your emotion get the best of you and try to look the situation from another person's point of view. Don't let words escalate to the point of disagreement. We all now recognize our role in this situation. When faced with friends fighting, it's important to diffuse the situation and not fuel it. Retaliation and anger is never the way to solve problems. Give yourself an opportunity to think before you react.